Today, I bring to you six mind-blowing and strangest traditions practiced in Africa till this very day. Africa is heavy on bizarre practices, some of which are popular, while many others are not known to the world. Some of these strange customs and traditions are still in existence. Before I get your minds blown, kindly take a second to subscribe to our channel if you're new. Also, turn on our notifications to always get notified each time we drop a video. Stay tuned. Festival of the Dead, practiced by the Chewa people of Malawi. The Chewa community is a Bantu tribe mostly found in Malawi. During the burial ceremony of a tribe member, it is customary for the body of the deceased to be washed. The corpse is taken to a sacred place where the cleansing is done by slitting the truth and pouring water through the insides of the body. The water is squeezed out of the body until it comes out clean. The water is then collected and used to prepare a meal for the whole community as they believe that the dead has been cleansed up of his or her iniquities. It was also reported that such practice of cleansing the dead serves or helps in the spread of infectious and deadly diseases in the Chewa community. When someone dies, the whole village shows up. This is because most of the time in the Chewa belief, death is not natural. It is usually caused by witchcraft. Since the Chewa believe that witchcraft only works on family members, those who might have killed a person would be scared to go to the funeral. It is decreed that all family members must attend the funeral, which means the whole village attends since they are generally all related. <laughs> Flogging before marriage, practiced by the Fulani tribe of West Africa. Many indigenous cultures in Africa often have rites of passage for male adolescents. These traditions may vary from culture to sacrifice, hunting, tests of bravery, strength and fortification. These people practice the Sharu festival diligently. The word Sharu means flogging. It is a public ceremony that shows the bravery and endurance of boys who are passing into manhood. The festival is held twice a year. The first of the festival is usually held during the dry season when Guinea corn is being harvested and the second during the Muslim festival of Idil Kabir. The Sharu festival is held for a week in an open place such as a market square in this festival, the groom is beaten by the older members of the community so as to earn a wife and respect. If the man is not strong enough to bear the pain, the wedding is called off. The families of the contenders watch and pray not to be disgraced by their sons because a son who cannot endure the flogging brings disgrace to the family. These severe floggings often leave scars on the proud contenders who believe the scars are marks of courage and the successful transition to manhood. After the flogging, the brave boys become men and are given permission to marry the girl of their choice. Lip stretching, practiced by the Soma tribe of Ethiopia and Sudan. The Soma people are made up of three ethnic groups, the Morsi, the Sori, and the Meccan people. The Suri and the Morsi share a similar culture. Their women's beauty is determined by how large their lip plate is. These lip plates are usually made of clay or wood and range between 4 and 25 centimeters. Before a lip plate can be applied on the lip, two or four teeth will have to be removed before the lower lip is cut to fit the lip plate. This lip plate process is usually done by a child's mother when she attains puberty. To stretch the lip, a ceramic disc is placed after the cut and will remain until the initial cut has healed before it is placed with another slighter larger disc. This process is repeated so that the lip will become large enough to accommodate the first lip plate, which is about 4 cm. Can you guess the essence of all this? Nothing but beauty. This intriguing practice determines the whole value of the attraction of a woman. Some of the men do this similar exercise with their ears. They also indoctrinate their warriors, known as stick fighters, by inflicting scars on them. The belief is that the more scars they have, the more attractive they are to female members of the tribe. <laughs> Like Bull jumping, practiced by the Hama tribe of southwestern Ethiopia. In the Hama tribe, the only thing that stands between a young boy and him becoming a man is cattle, literally. Bull jumping is an ancient ritual in southwestern Ethiopia that proves if a man is ready to build a family of his own. As teenagers, Hama boys have to go through a rite of passage to be called a man and get married. 
The ceremony puts the young boy's bravery and courage to test. Being able to conquer fear and complete the task ahead is a lesson they have to learn to become a man. The ceremony, which usually takes place in October or November, involves a series of events. A young boy has to strip naked, run, jump, and land on the back of a bull. This is then followed by running across the backs of several bulls arranged in a straight and closely knit head pulled by the tail and horns by older men. The practice is known as hammer. Locals claim that the ancient ritual has been practiced for more than three centuries. Spitting as form of greeting, practiced by the Maasai tribe of Kenya and Tanzania. While spitting is often considered as an uncivilized and unhealthy gesture around the world, Kenya and Tanzania people of the Maasai tribe have incorporated it into their greeting ritual. Maasai people consider spitting as a sign of reverence and blessing or a way of saying hello. The Maasai spit into their palms before a handshake. Parents, friends and family members spit on newborn babies to bless them with good luck and longevity and they believe this would protect the baby from evil spirits. Fathers bless their daughters on the wedding day by spitting on the daughter's forehead. Maasai warriors also spit in their palms before shaking the hand of an elder. Furthermore, the Maasai tribe is also famous for its drinking of fresh animal blood. Apart from being strange, this practice is very dangerous. Spitting increases the risk of spreading diseases to a great extent. Wife stealing, practiced by the Wadabi tribe of Niger. The most important date in the Wadabi calendar is September, at the end of the rainy season, when the sexually liberated tribe gathers ahead of their transhuman migration to celebrate Geri War. Most of the time, the tribe spend their time in smaller family groups traveling across the harsh Sahel Desert, mainly in Niger. They can be found in Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, and Nigeria. After months of trekking through miles of arid desert, Gariwal is the chance for them to come together for a traditional catch-up, a festival of music and dance which lasts for seven days and nights. Its location is usually kept a closely guarded secret and is only revealed days before the event is due to take place. And by far the most eye-catching of all dances is the Yaki, a mating call for men to battle it out for sexual supremacy, performed in front of three female judges. The men spend six hours preparing themselves for their big moment, when like peacocks, they can dance and show off in all their finery. After the dance, each female judge gets to choose her own winner, and winning brings with it a claim and the pick of women in the tribe. Watching on are also the tribe's most eligible women who are looking for their next husband. If they like a man, the woman can choose to be stolen by one of the better looking men, leaving their husbands behind. The fact that the women watching may already have a husband is not important to this polygamous tribe because the Wodabi women have all the sexual freedom and are allowed more than one husband. You are probably thinking these practices are barbaric and in some instances dangerous. Well, to these men and women, it is nothing but a way of life and therefore celebrated. Africa is indeed understudied and I assure you there are more cultures and norms the world is yet to see. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Kindly share and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>